What countries have visa-free access to the United States? In today's video, I'll be listing off three passports from around the world that have access to the US with a simple ESTA program that not a lot of people like to know about. You know, if I were to ask you, hey, look, if you want to travel to the US without a visa, what passport do you think you need? You'd probably say something like a European Union passport. Now, it's true for most cases, not all the cases. There is an example, an anomaly like Cyprus, for example, that doesn't have visa-free access to, to the US, but it's still a member of the European Union. However, we're not going to look at any of the major Western passports that people are getting. Instead, we're going to be looking at three underrated gems around the world, all on different continents, that all have that unique thing of having visa-free access to the US. Starting off with the continent of Latin America, there is one passport in this region that grants you extra access to the US, and that is the country of Chile. The Chilean passport is one of the strongest passports in the world. Having that extra access to the US does boost it up many levels. Now, yes, in the past few months, there have been talks about the US getting rid of the ESSA program for Chilean citizens for quote unquote security purposes. I don't know if that will come true. I don't know if that will happen, to be honest. That's not something that I really buy, to be honest. Chile currently does have ESSA access to the US and it is a very solid passport. Chile also allows dual nationality. Their residence requirements are also solid. The Chilean passport is certainly a very solid passport if you are looking at diversifying, especially in Latin America. Moving on to the next passport on this list, we are now hitting the continent of Asia, specifically Southeast Asia. If we are looking at a tiny oil-rich nation on Borneo Island, that would have to be the country of Brunei. Brunei is a tiny island, but it has one of the best passports in the entire world. They also have visa-free access to the United States. You know, you'd probably think, okay, an Asian passport that has extra access to the US, maybe Japan, South Korea, but no, Brunei is also up there. The Brunei passport is absolutely amazing. However, the Brunei passport has been taken down a peg or two because that citizenship is almost, not entirely, almost impossible to get. They don't allow dual nationality. And I believe you can only get citizenship if you naturalize there. If you are a female who married a male Bruneian citizen and you've lived in that country for 15 years. So it certainly isn't a easy passport anyway. And the third and final country that I'm going to be talking about in this video, that would actually be in the continent of Oceania. And that would be the passport of Palau. The Palauan passport is very solid. Palau, once again, tiny island country in Oceania in, in the Pacific Ocean, but it has one of the best passports, not only in the region, but in the world. However, with Palau, there is one major issue if we talk about getting citizenship there, and that is that although with a country like Brunei, there is a chance of you getting citizenship, a small chance, but a chance either way, Palau is absolutely impossible. They have no legislation on naturalizing in that country as a citizen. You cannot get Palauan citizenship if you have no ancestry in that country. Palau doesn't have any type of investor program. They have no residency requirements. They don't have any of that. You cannot get Palauan citizenship if you are not ethnically tied to that country. You can't just live there for 10 years and get that passport. That is not something that they are doing. All in all, if we compare all three of these passports, Chile, Brunei and Palau, I would have to give the top one to Chile because they have a very solid passport. Obviously, they allow dual nationality and you can actually get that citizenship. Palau does also allow dual nationality, but you can't get naturalized there. So it kind of cancels it out if you are not a natural born citizen of Palau and Brunei. Brunei, the citizenship is very good. It's, a, it's an amazing passport. It is somewhat possible if you are a female, but it's very difficult. They've got heavy gatekeeping. And in my opinion, it's not something that's really worth looking at because there are a lot more options around the world that if you want that extra access to the United States, those passports are easier to get. Let me know what you think about the passports that I listed in this video. And if you like this video, you can click right here and subscribe to this information on YouTube and follow, follow me on my other social media. Follow me on Instagram, Max and Rumble. It'll be down below in the description.